Okay, so by now you guys have probably realized that I'm a little bit obsessed with virtual reality. I've done a whole bunch of VR videos in the past, but moving forward things are going to be a little bit different and a little bit more epic. You see, this incredible green screen cube I'm standing in is called the Live Cube, and by tracking a virtual camera to a real camera and green screening me into virtual reality, we no longer have to stand by the sidelines and watch VR, we can step into virtual reality together. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Mixed Reality. But of course, I'm sure you've realized the most important part of why this is so exciting. We can totally do selfies in VR now, oh my god! G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza, and today to commemorate the exciting new ventures into mixed reality on this channel, I'm going to be creating an epic artwork in a combination of Google Blocks, which I've never used before, so fingers crossed it works, and Tilt Brush, which I'm much more familiar with. I wanted to open up by thanking the sponsor of this video, Verve. Verve, spelt V-R-V, which is fitting because we're in VR. <laughs> Verve is an app available on PlayStation, Xbox, iOS, and Android. It's made by the team over at Crunchyroll, so aside from enjoying the content you love there, you can discover new and awesome creators over in the Verve app. And given that this video is sponsored by Verve, made by the team over at Crunchyroll, I thought it would be fitting to paint a titan from Attack on Titan. From the very first video where I started doing virtual reality art, and ever since then, the most requested thing for me to paint has been a Titan from Attack on Titan. So when Verve came to me to sponsor this video, it made for the perfect opportunity to bring a Titan to life. For those of you who don't know, Verve is home to your favorite channels and content, content like Cartoon Hangover's Bravest Warriors and Rooster Teeth's Ruby, and of course, great anime like Attack on Titan Season 2, which you can watch subbed on Crunchy role or dubbed on Funimation. I started watching Attack on Titan myself to get inspired to make this video and I'm really getting into it so I highly recommend Verve. Go check it out, the link is in the description. Okay so I'm in a VR program called Blocks which I'll be frank I've never used before and I'm gonna jump straight into the creation process and what I want to do is use this Blocks app to build pieces of the wall of the outer wall in Attack on Titan. I'm hoping we'll simplify the process so that rather than painting each wall panel in Tilt Brush with the brushes, I can just build a panel and repeat it throughout. I'm going through the tutorial to start off with, which by the way, uh, entails building an ice cream. But in mixed reality, I can hug the ice cream. I'm learning to build an ice cream farm. I bet this isn't what you guys were thinking when I told you I'd be painting a titan in virtual reality. So this program, as I mentioned, is called Blocks. It's made by Google, the same people who made Tilt Brush. So I assumed that if I made a model in Blocks, I'd be able to import it quite easily into Tilt Brush. I set about making a simple model for the outer wall, which I intended to blow up in Tilt Brush and stand on and paint my scene around. Working with the blocks accurately was a little bit difficult, especially as I added more and combined them and duplicated and repeated that process. The larger the model, the shakier they were as I tried to press precisely fit these small pieces together. So I did the best that I could and then once I had something I was reasonably satisfied with, I exported it, ready to attempt to bring them into Tilt Brush. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am just seriously tripping out that I am in virtual reality. How cool is this? I mean in the past you guys have seen me trip out about the different spaces that I've been in, but it's always been from a first person perspective. But this time, when I show you the environments I get to go in, it's like, oh my goodness. There's a moon! Hello moon. All right, so I picked a pretty sparse looking but spacious environment I want to use as the base for my creation. But most importantly, I want to see if I can import that simple little model I just made. How do I do that? This looks like something. That's my wall. All right, I'm gonna click that. Look, okay, perfect. You can see there's a size limit, which is a bit of a bummer. The most important question is, can I stand on it? And the answer is, it seems like I can, but it's a touch too small. So I need to make the same wall, but this time bigger. 
So having gained some wisdom, I went back into blocks and started again, this time making my wall portions a bit larger, and rather than attempting to do the entire wall in one model, I thought I would do a wall portion that I could repeat in Tilt Brush. On the topic of learning from my mistakes, the other thing I did differently this time around was I added another block at the very bottom, which was sort of a red line. That way I could see more easily when the models I created were submerged under the geometry of the ground in the programs I was working with and I thought that might make it easier to balance and uh, make them all straight and line up with each other. I brought my wall portion into Tilt Brush and duplicated it a number of times, enlarged them as big as they could go and tested how they looked both for how they receded into the distance and also how it looked to stand on. When I was happy with the wall positions, I pegged them in place and then brought in two reference images that I could work on throughout creating my piece. One of the colossal titan that I wanted to create on the outside of the wall and the other of the wall itself and just some screenshots from the anime. Next I got to play around with some of the new features in Tilt Brush I haven't had a chance to play with yet so I was very excited to toy around with tweaking the colors of the environment and the lighting effects of the scene. I set everything up in a really rich brownie orange, sort of a, a fiery atmosphere. I didn't want my piece to feel literal, I just wanted it to capture the drama of the titan approaching the wall. Rather than needing to create all of the houses and environments around it, I just wanted the wall, the titan and a place for me to stand. So I went about creating the construction lines for my titan and the the cool thing is you can see I sort of step into the pose and measure the most comfortable places for the limbs for my stick figure base. As I test the pose I also go into testing the standing position that I want to end up at and make sure that the titan is looking at me and that everything has a decent perspective. Then when I was satisfied with that it was time to put the meat on the bones as it were. See what I did up until this point was all preparation, all laying the foundation of my piece and now I could lay on the visceral muscular form of the titan and slowly but surely build up the anatomy and the muscle structures. I didn't go in and add loads of detail in the individual areas one at a time, instead I did a bit of a broad roughing out of all of the uh, shapes and forms of the character so that I could come back and add detail and refine later. But really at this point it's about capturing the form and making sure everything has the right shape. So you'll see me come back to muscle groups and add mass to the back or the arms wherever it's lacking, slowly but surely building up the solidity of our Titan. When the Titan started to feel pretty well refined, I moved on to creating some of the details. Firstly, I focused on the face because I think that's one of the most important aspects. Of course, it's the first thing people look at and if it looks wrong, then you sort of lose no matter how cool everything else looks. So I made sure to take a lot of time to make sure that the eyes and the mouth and teeth and the details of the lines under the eyes looked really nice. And then I wanted to play around with textures as far as what would work on top of the muscles. You see, I worked with a darker sort of maroon Rony red colour for the muscle base, but I wanted to capture that really fleshy raw look that the Colossal Titan has by creating a layer of lighter red colour on top in a textured pattern that would uh, really bring out that raw aesthetic. So I went around the whole body building up those muscle textures and then going around the rest of the piece and adding the final details. Then with my Titan finished, it was time to move on and add, I guess you could say, the garnish to my piece. You want to make sure that your view has as much impact as possible. So I went around the environment and added smoke in some layers so that it would parallax if I move around a bit, add some mist and more intense flame-like smoke around the base of the Titan. I also wanted to mask his feet so they looked a bit distant. And then the finishing touches that make all the difference, like embers floating up from below, ash falling from above and giving the titan that epic glow in the eyes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've finished my piece and I'm ready for the big reveal, but before- oh man, reality's really boring. <laughs> my face is all rashy. I'm gonna go back inside VR. Oh, that's better. He's right behind me, isn't he? All right, I'm gonna turn around, you ready? <laughs> oh my god! That is crazy and kind of terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorry, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but this is like... Oh, I don't even have words to describe how crazy this is. And the coolest part is, it's not like we're not stuck in like first person view. You're here with me.
it's time for a selfie. Oh my goodness, this is crazy! <laughs> oh wow, I feel like we need to get like a, like a photo together. The thing I really love is the sense of depth, it's like crazy, like we're standing on a cliff. Like, like how insane is that? Oh, oh man, oh, I'm tripping, I am tripping. This is so cool. What's that? All you want is a high five? Well, why didn't you say so? Seriously guys, all the Titan wants is a friendly high five. And to eat your mother! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Ever since I did my first VR videos with the Hulk and the Iron Giant where I blew them up, everyone was like, do a Titan. And I'm so excited that I got to do a Titan today. And not only that, but for the first time in mixed reality on this channel, which I am just so excited about. Also, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor. Could you, uh, could you hold that for me, buddy? Once again, this video is sponsored by Verve. A huge thank you to Verve for making this video possible and recommendations to you guys to go check them out. I've watched a handful of episodes of Attack on Titan. It's an incredible show and the other content available on Verve is really cool. So there's loads to check out. Once again, use that link in the description to activate your seven day free trial and download the app, whether it be on PlayStation, Xbox, iOS or Android. Go get started binge watching all the content you know you love and of course, a whole bunch of content you've never seen before that I know you're gonna love too. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you had fun. I had a blast. Please uh, let me know what you thought in the comments for our first Mixed Reality video and leave your suggestions for content you want me to make in Mixed Reality in the future. Maybe interact with in some way. It should be really fun. It's so crazy. I feel like VR can't get any more awesome, but it keeps getting more awesome. <laughs> oh. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.